That's okay. a high baby. <laughs> Where do I head? Where do I head? Where am I supposed to hide? Oh god! See, I'm no harm. <laughs> oh shit! Ooh, okay. You got me. Thought I could tame the beast. Is he still back over there? Yeah. Oh, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Oh, hi. Franklin, you, uh... I do a little more cleaning around here. Three equals door. Well, one, two, three. That do anything? Nah, I didn't do shit. Okay, what else you got down here for me, Franklin? Old buddy of mine. Two. Okay, numbers are going down. See? I locked. Okay. Oh, he said find number one. I think we're getting closer. Oh no, that just took me in a circle. Where's number one? Oh, I need to turn that switch on. Because you probably don't like water. You're a little bitch. Okay, so let's turn on number one. Turn off you. Turn you on. Uh, what, is that the second one? Oh, they're out of order. Okay. That's fine. We will turn off this one. And turn on this one. Oh yeah, he's scared of a little water. So now I turn that off and I can pass through there with my candle. Hope he doesn't come back now. Yep, okay, it's just me. Pushing on. Oh shit, you're still alive. Uh, buddy, I don't think I can help you. You got a nail in your head, bro. Don't know how you're alive, but uh, yeah, I, I can't let you out. I'm gonna have to look the other way on this one. Sorry, bro. Oh, you found number one. Bravo. I found number one. Where is it? You're not number one. Where are you? I don't see a number one anywhere. Nothing in there. Oh, great, another note. Letter from Franklin to Carl. You were special for me. I didn't mean to hurt you, but to help you avoid death at the hand of justice, my hand. Please, I did so much for you and you keep screaming and running away. I made you a beautiful room in the basement. You got a TV. Every night I come to read you books. I feed you. You should feel my love for you. See you on the other side, brother. Looks like Franklin has a little crush on Carl over there. Or Carl is just his fucked up brother. Listen to the tape, David. I took it from the hand of the dummy on whose body the number two was drawn. Oh, Sarah, please don't cry. You have to forgive Uncle Carl. He's just too strong. Oh, uh, he just wanted to stroke your little head. <laughs> uh, look, look, uh, we're still having fun. <laughs> Raise your head. I want to introduce you to your sister. <laughs> Uncle Carl seems a little fucked up. I will take this key now. <laughs> so, it had a two on it. Let me go open door number two. There's no way that's the real exit. Hatchet. Oh my god. David, pick up the freaking hatchet, man. You're in a psychopath's basement. 
He promised you candies and puppies and did not deliver. Pick up the freaking hatchet, dude. Oh, I don't want to play with your brother. Oh god, I really don't. Oh shit. Okay, Uncle Carl. You uh, watch yourself. I got a candle. I'll burn you, bro. You better hide, baby. <laughs> what do I had? Where do I hide? Where am I supposed to hide? Oh God, Uncle Carl. Hey, okay, uh, okay. Uh, I will go ahead and hide back here. Bye. Nice to meet you, Uncle Carl. Oh shit. Okay, Uncle Carl. Oh, and you put me in a room with dead bodies. Great. Okay. Oh, probably get into room number three now. Oh, that's Uncle Carl. Oh, he's fast. He's very fast. Okay. Oh shit, he's catching up. I'm screwed. Through here. Me out. Nope, locked. Three. Me out. Okay. Can I hide? Hide somewhere. Hide. Hide. Shut the door. Do something. Oh god. Uh. Grab this note though. We're gonna read real quick. He got two, didn't eat one, but nailed it to the wall in the corridor with knives. Probably for fun. I've heard a lot, Franklin, but uh, I've never heard such a scream. Luckily, he broke the neck of the other child. Then he started eating. Oh, Jesus. To Franklin, who wrote that? Okay, back at it. Uncle Carl. Can I open any of these? We're going to exit. Let's get out of here. Bye, Uncle Carl. Are we actually free? Before kidnapping. David woke up and felt hungry. He decided to go to the kitchen to have a little snack. All right, to the kitchen I go. Very bland house. Oh, there we go. Got some color now. Some paintings. He saw his mother. She didn't turn around. Just said. David, honey, you can sleep. Oh, darling, just eat a candy. I left you the whole bowl on your nightstand. As always. Bad parenting. Eat the candy and go to bed, honey. Oh, okay, it forced me to turn around. Sweet dreams. Thanks, Mom. Go upstairs and eat a full bowl of candy right before bed. You're the best. That lying bitch, I don't see any candy. Oh, there we go. Sorry, Mom. 
Didn't see the candy at first. Okay, well, I had a piece of candy. Back to bed. David went to bed and fell into a deep sleep. Was this all a dream? Bro, I'm not touching your spear. Get me out of here. Nice place you got here, Franklin. I mean, besides all the creepy, unsettling mannequins you have standing around, it's actually uh, not too bad. I'm guessing you're some sort of a uh, scientist or doctor or creep selling inappropriate things on the black market. Selling a... Uh, Livers over the internet. Oh, a nice blue key. The Eskimos have a special harpoon for killing seals. The shaft is about a meter long and is made of horn and iron. It ends with a blade stuck in the shaft. Sometimes it is made only of iron or copper. Only its end is not sharpened to make the hole in the seal skin as small as possible. Below the blade, there are two wings bent inwards, which do not allow the animal to slip off the harpoon. Hey, learn a little, little song about Eskimos over here. Letter from teachers to Franklin. We invite you again to a meeting in the teacher's room. We need you at the meeting to decide on a certain matter. Sincerely, the teaching staff. Oh, Franklin, are you a teacher? Because you shouldn't be, like, within a hundred feet of children or schools or really anyone. If you're a teacher, that's a real problem. Let's go check out upstairs. Another note. Letter from Anna to Lydia. Lydia, after returning from school, go directly to your room. Dad will come to you. It's like Franklin got some fine china over here. Got yeah, some nice stuff, dude. Oh, another note. My fascination. Application to the newspaper contest. My name is Franklin. I'd very much like to win a spear, which is the prize in your contest. I am very fascinated by this weapon. I'm a biology teacher. I have a lot of artifacts at home and sculptures related to the sea. My dream is to get such a spear. I cannot find it anywhere. It is pointless. No one will ever read it. Okay, Franklin. We'll get you a spear, dude. It's honestly more normal than uh, all the mannequins you have around here. Locked. Another note. Okay. Letter from mom to Franklin. Franklin, honey, I ordered you the spear which you have been looking for for so long. I found it at Victor's Antique Shop. I hope you will be pleased. I know how much they fascinate you. Love you, mom. Mom, why are you buying Franklin a spear? He doesn't need that. He just needs your love. So what happens when you buy your kid a spear instead of giving him a hug? Letter from Anna to Franklin. Dear, I'm worried about our daughter. You keep saying that she needs an operation. Everything is fine with her. Please spare her at least. If you do this, I'll forget about what I found on the third floor. I'm going to work now and I'll be back later. I love you, Anna. Well, Anna, you married a demented person. You married a gruesome person that was dropped on his head as a child and now he eats people and kid oh telephone hey franklin uh hope you don't mind if i pick up your phone man 
Where are you? We've been looking for you everywhere. Are you all right? Please, come home. <laughs> For the record, Franklin, I didn't fall for that, dumb bitch. All right, I'm coming for you, Franklin. It's gonna be you, me, and a spear, man. Oh, lovely, okay. Nice, Franklin, just hanging bodies from the ceiling now. Ooh. That mannequin arm? Oh, nope, that is a body. Hey, can I help you up? Can we, can we do this? No, can't help you? Okay, well, Franklin, you're getting a little lazy hiding the bodies. This one's a little obvious. Occult note from the ground floor. Crucial note that will be useful during my work. Inspired by old Celtic and Germanic traditions. Mixing the brain with cement. What? Mixing the brain with cement and shaping it into a form akin to small sphere not only provided the user with powers of a dead relative or in some cases enemy, but also provided an ample supply of sacred ammunition. Franklin, you have lost your goddamn mind, sir. You have lost your marbles. There is no marbles left for you. Hi. Okay. Franklin, you got a problem, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn this off. Oh, I can't. Okay. Oh. How'd you do that? Hey, Franklin. You got a demon doll up here? I can see you want to be left alone now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, head on out. It wasn't funny. Look, now you don't have a balloon, so joke's on you. Oh god, where'd he go? Oh! Okay. Just gonna go ahead and shut that. Oh, I can't. Okay, well... Head in a suitcase. That's classic. Okay. Well, I really want to keep my candle, but it's the only place I haven't explored is back there, so... Maybe I have to lose my candle? Another place I can grab another candle. Nope, that's it. Okay, so I must have to go through here. <sighs> Too dark, scary. Now I don't have a candle. Don't think there was more candles upstairs. Oh, that's still on the TV. Lovely. Oh! God! Mm. What are you doing up there? Yep, yeah, and I have a candle I can use. Your eyes still, yep, you're still following me around. That's great. Okay, you keep doing your thing. I don't want to disturb you. But if you had a candle, that'd be awesome. No? Okay. Well, I'm missing something. Strange. I can interact with it, but I can't do anything. Ah, oh, his spear. Ooh, this looks gross. Oh, it's a monkey. Very creepy looking monkey. Shopping list to buy. Sack, five pieces. Adhesive tape, 20 pieces. Who writes the number of pieces of tape they need? Chloroform, five bottles. Rope, 40 meters. 
large cardboard boxes, 10 pieces. Got a suspicious list there, Franklin. Okay. One is, what is that? Some statue type of thing. And two is that one. Okay, so I was interacting with this statue, but it wouldn't let me do anything. So, I need to interact with that one first, and then this one. Oh god. Uh, you're gonna make me do this. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, not too bad. Why, why did I need that though? Yeah, don't do that. Oh, a candle. Yes. Yes, take the candle. Ha! All right. Back in business. Got light. And where are you? I don't know where you're sitting. Sitting on a shelf somewhere. Maybe on one of the bookshelves? Let's go check. No, it's on the bookshelves. Let's see, I picked up a bag. I can cover something with it. Now I have one. Ah, I cover you. Ha. Yeah, try blowing out my candle now. Can't. Moving on. There we go. One. Another note. Scary note. Can't believe it. So many people visit me and don't even realize that there is a human flesh in the mannequins right next to them. They are incredibly stupid. Doesn't anybody wonder why these mannequins are here? Haha, <laughs> bunch of idiots. Put human flesh in the mannequins? I mean, I guess it doesn't surprise me at this point. Oh, I did it. What'd I do? I opened your secret room. That looks fun. Just gonna go ahead and take your... Take your key. Key to first floor. There's gonna be someone standing right behind me. Hey! Oh, why are you leaving so soon? I mean, you can go, but, but I already miss you so much. <laughs> please, uh, please, uh, come. I, I have seven cute flowery kittens down here. <laughs> it, it, it will be so much fun. <laughs> Fluffy kittens, you say? I don't know, man. You didn't deliver your candy and puppies. But kittens? I like kittens. I don't see any kittens down here. They better be really fluffy if I have to go through all this shit to get them. <laughs> Behind you. In? <laughs> yeah, I just, I had to go see the kittens. All right, we'll pick it all up in the next one. Thank you.